Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. We are back with some Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Now, recently, an update has been announced with some pretty cool features along with a demo for the game. So if you have not checked this game out so far for yourself, then definitely do that. It's a free demo, and it really gives you a solid overview on what the game is about. But in this video today, we will be discussing the new cards that were announced, show you some screenshots, and go over some of the abilities as well. So we saw the trailer. So let's talk about what's the new stuff that was added. So there's four new Super Rare Rank cards, four new stages, a new extra mission mode, a new card gotcha mode, an array of new designs and card customization options, which is 16 new characters, 8 new super attacks, and 13 new abilities. Players will also be able to customize the background music and theme songs in the game. New cards, folks. As you can see on the top of the list, you have uh, Vegeta BR. And I'm going to go over the details. But uh, as you guys saw how I navigated, if you want to go read everything about the card, feel free to do so. It's in the gotcha shop on the rare. Um, what I'm just going to do is just highlight a couple things. So it's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Uh, as you can see, it's an HP conversion unit. Pairs up with Goku and Whis as well. And um, as far as the passive ability, it's called Prepared Prince. So uh, when an attacker at the end of the power level battle phase, you get plus 5,000 to own guard for the round. And additionally, if own stamina is at danger, level you get 1.3 times damage dealt by own team for the round and that's repeatable as well all right next is boma and it's uh, br as well her ability is goddess of triumph so it's only one sp card per team and basically you prevent enemy attacks right no stamina Attack effect, move an ally card together with this card to completely recover that ally's stamina during the prep phase. Additionally, if paired with Vegeta BR, you get plus 8,000 to power level for the round. Hero energy will not increase. Paired ally will unleash their super attack if they win the charge impact. The support effect is, alters the attack area. Afterwards, attackers power up based on stamina consumed. Um, then you have Gine, and I might be pronouncing his name wrong, I don't know if it's Jain or Gine, but she's a supportive saying, right? At the start of the battle, permanently prevents stun for own team. Additionally, prevents stun for Bardock BR if he is on own team and increased perfect co-op effect for own team as well. So it's pretty cool, right? Um, obviously, if you've seen the movie, you're going to understand why a lot of these cards are functioning the way they are. Alright, next you're going to have is King Code. Fearsome King. When a supporter at the end of the power level battle phase, reduce stamina of all enemies and minus three to enemy team. Hero energy once only. Then you got Nappa, right? Elite Saiyan. When defending against a co-op attack, that attack's damage is reduced the more stamina you have and that's repeatable. Then you have Broly BR status fury. And his ability is Raffle Below. Prevent stun, but be able to participate in co-op attacks. Additionally, greatly increase damage dealt when attacking, and this is repeatable. This is going to be a sick card to have. Then you have Unparalleled Power, and this is Goku, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Obviously, you need this card in order to, you know, fuse into Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. When an attacker, after the prep phase, permanent plus 5,000 power of all attackers on own team. Additionally, cancel damage increases for own team's attackers when there are five or fewer of them in play, and that's repeatable. Fuses with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and this happens basically right here. Card action fusion. You fuse with partner from round two onward for double power level and to recover stamina every round. Additionally, you prevent stun and permanent plus 2,000 to damage though. So you definitely want to try to get those two together. Uh, then you have Super Saiyan God Vegeta. His ability is Savage Spirit. At the start of a round, permanent plus 3,000 to own power, guard, and power level when own team's HP is lower than the enemy's team, and that is repeatable. Then you got Bardock, Valiant Warrior. When attacking an enemy with a higher power level, 1.5 times damage dealt, repeatable. Broly BR, status normal, battle of battles. 
During round three only, you get 1.5 times own power guard and power level. That's a decent ability for round three. Then you have our uh, Limo, or it could be Lemo, my apologies again. You have much needed support. After the prep phase of an even numbered round, recover stamina for all attackers on own team and prevent stun that round. Then you got Chile, Sympathizer. When a supporter at the end of the power level battle phase, reduce stamina for all enemies. Additionally, greatly decrease CI speed for Broly, BR that round if he's an attacker, and that's repeatable. And if you take a look, it's compatible with Broly BR and along with Lemo. Then you have Xeno Goku, friend in need. If an ally is stunned at the start of a round, two times damage dealt for the round. And that's repeatable. And this is a fusion action card as well. If you have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Xeno, then you'll get you know Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And his ability is uh, Trust the Ally for the Vegeta. At the end of a round, completely recover stamina for all stun allies once only. Then you have Future Trunks. Ability is sorry coming. Greatly increase enemy CI speed when attacked. And that's repeatable. It's a great ability to have. Then you have uh, Silas. Ability is Calm Judgment. Recover own stamina when you win the power level battle phase. And that's repeatable. So those are the new cards, folks. Those are the abilities. Pretty cool ones, to be honest with you. Um, again, if you enjoy this content, then slap that like button. Subscribe for more Super Dragon Ball Heroes mission. And again, appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far with this new series. And if there are video ideas that you would like to see, then definitely drop a comment down below. Pretty open to trying out new things, all right? So other than that, appreciate the support. Peace out.